There are more than 400,000 NCAA student athletes. NCAA on campus is their story. On this edition of On Campus, we'll travel to Ithaca, New York and Cornell University. They've been wrestling in the NCAA for 85 years now, but Cornell wrestler Kyle Dake did something last year that had never been done before. When the lights are the brightest, that's when I, that's when I think I perform the best. He is in the record books and has a shot this year to do something that's only been done three times in those 85 years. Everyone loves to win but not everyone hates losing. To tell us more about Cornell, here is Kyle's teammate, himself an NCAA wrestling champion from last season, Steve Bosak. Welcome to Cornell University, home of the Big Red. We have about 14,000 undergraduates here that makes us the largest of the eight Ivy League schools. We were founded in 1865, and that makes us the youngest member of the Ivy League as well. Our school has made a lot of history over the years. The first school in the world to award a degree in journalism, the nation's first degree in veterinary medicine, and the first doctorates in electrical engineering and industrial engineering. My teammate Kyle Dake made some history of his own last year when he became the first NCAA wrestler to win three national championships in three different weight classes. This year he's trying to one-up himself, going for a fourth championship in a fourth weight class, and also trying to become only the fourth wrestler in those 85 years of NCAA wrestling history to win a fourth individual national championship. I'd say that there is enormous amount of pressure on him, but he probably feels none of it. For Kyle, he doesn't, he doesn't get nervous like most people. He gets excited. When he has a big match coming up, he can't, he's got a big grin on his face. Uh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a gift. If I were to ask you what pressure really was, like tangibly, you couldn't describe it. You know, there's nothing tangible about pressure. And that's one thing that Coach Cole had told me when I, when I first came in, he's like, you know what, tell me what pressure is. And I couldn't tell him, I was like, you know, it's just like something you put on yourself. He goes, exactly, it's something you put on yourself. Why would you burden yourself with something that doesn't exist? So instead of feeling pressure, I just go out and have fun. He has fun, but he knows he has to work at it too. Kyle has the physical skills, but he also has the intangibles, the heart, the mind, the drive, whatever it is that leads one into the record books. We say Kyle's a freak of nature. He has, you know, when I speak about the physical tools, I mean he's flexible, he's fast, he's strong, and he's got great balance. I'm pretty versatile. I think that's one of my strongest aspects about being a wrestler. He had the, uh, the mental tools as well. I've seen him lose and, and be devastated. Uh, and I, I could tell he hated losing more than he loved winning. And, and for me, that's one of the most important factors of developing and recruiting champions. You know, some people are, take a loss and they're like, okay, well, a loss is a loss. What are you going to do about it? Like, for me, that's just unacceptable. I have to go out and not only win, but dominate every single time. And, and, and it's not just in competition. I, I want to dominate in practice. I want to dominate in everything. Whether it's wrestling or playing video games or playing soccer in the, in the gym, like no matter what you're doing, he's always competing. And uh, I think he just hates to lose. He's a great athlete. He's mentally very tough. He works his butt off. He does the right things um, outside of the room. He's always in the practice room. He lives a perfect life. He writes his goals down every day and then writes them down after that. I mean, he knows what he wants out of life. He wants to be a world champion, Olympic champion. He wants to be a four-time national champion. And, and then he wants to go on and coach. Kyle Dake was born to wrestle. Both his grandfather and dad were wrestling coaches. His dad, Doug, was an All-American at Kent State. Kyle practically grew up in the wrestling room. And I started wrestling when I was about four years old. I loved the fact that wrestling was fun. You know, I went into the room and I was able to do whatever I wanted. I could fall down and it wouldn't hurt. I could smash my face off the wall and it wouldn't hurt. And, you know, there was just a bunch of guys with a, a lot of energy in there. We had just played a bunch of games. I remember when he was born because his father was actually one of our assistant coaches at the time and had to leave practice for that week. And so I remember specifically seeing Kyle as a, as a baby and I, I remember seeing him wrestle his first matches. And, and, and so he was destined to come to Cornell for, for a long time. Everything about Cornell was just so appealing to me. I've been around the program ever since I can remember. I watched this building get built, and I was like, I'm gonna wrestle there one day. I mean, there's a poster in the lobby with the first match that was here, and you can see me sitting in the front row with my dad. So, I mean, I'm, I'm basically part of the history here, and I just like to cement my name into it. 
Kyle also excels in the classroom as a sociology major with a minor in business. And he's a member of Cornell's legendary senior honor society, Quill and Dagger. A lot of the good grades and, and, and things like that come from just having good time management. And wrestling's really taught me that. Everything he does, he tries to do with excellence. You know, whether it's uh, wrestling or, or studies, he's going to be the best at, at, at whatever he does. I think Kyle Dake is a serious student who understands that the lessons he learns in the classroom are as important as the lessons he learns in competitive athletics. And that his future really depends both on being an excellent athlete and an excellent student. He has won titles at 141 pounds, 149, 157, and this year he's at 165, where the wrestling world eagerly anticipates an NCAA tournament matchup against Penn State's David Taylor, the defending champ at 165. Kyle has lost only four matches in his four years at Cornell, and he has never lost in the NCAA tournament. He is undefeated this year, but because he is always in a new weight class, he's never been the favorite. I was never the top dog going back into the weight class. I always had to prove myself. And being able to climb that ladder each time and each year was, was really motivating for me and allowed me to, to accomplish what I accomplished. And what Kyle Dake has accomplished is in the NCAA record books. You can follow his attempt to get championship number four when he wrestles at this week's NCAA championships in Des Moines. Good luck to Kyle and all the wrestlers. Follow the action at NCAA.com and thanks for watching NCAA on campus.